Hey guys, it's me Tabi Sassano and I'll be taking on this short lesson of calculating bill of quantities for trenches. So if you've seen the video earlier I started with the previous video, I calculated top so right now I'll be calculating trenches. If you haven't seen the video, the top soil video before, so here's the drawing I'll be using. I'm still using the same video, the same plan. Here's the plan I'll be using. So here in trench excavation, we'll be using the cross section here, which we didn't use it when calculating the top soil. So here's a cross section, which cuts over here. And we look this side. I'm sure if you are watching this, you know the language I'm speaking about this cross section. So just trying to say a little bit tricky because at top soil we just calculate the area, but here we want the center line, which is always refers to S mean girth, which is very important when calculating. In bill of quantities because we use it everywhere after calculating it. I mean, guess we use it everywhere all along our calculations. And if we get it wrong, all, all whatever you gonna calculate after this is gonna be wrong. So be careful with this one and listen attentively. It's just an easy thing if you practice, you'll get used to it, and you have you won't have any problems with it. So let's calculate. The trenches here is the sample. Here's the plan. So as we calculate the trenches, we want to start first by by the length. I say the length is ten meters. The width is seven point five. You see this? So let's say length, which is ten point zero zero. Yeah, because it's we are dealing with a trench, so we wanna look at the foundation, the cross section, where we need to say the foundation spread. Yeah, and the foundation spread is in millimeters, which is six hundred and ninety millimeters, which is zero point six nine meters. Here, our calculation we are taking them in meters. So, I'm gonna say add. FDN, which is foundation spread 0 0.69, 690 millimeters. And as we can see, we just want the foundation spread only. As you can see, between the foundation spread, there is a wall brick, which is has a thickness of 230 millimeters. Uh, I'm just gonna identify where the brickwork is the thickness of the brickwork is as mentioned so as I'm looking the cross section there is no way the thickness of the brickwork is reaching so let's say our brickwork would be 280 millimeters which is normal for 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 load bearing walls the thickness are always 280 millimeters so let's say deduct wall because we want only the foundation the foundation spread deduct wall which is 0 0.230 0 0.69 demand is 0 0.230 is gonna give us 0 0.46 so this 0 0.46 is the one we wanna calculate when we say add foundation strength Foundation spread, sorry, excuse me. So we read it here 0 0.46, and we say this length 10, as we add 0 0.46, we're gonna say 10.46. So there, that's our length, as you can see. Then we go to width, our width will be like. So let's check our width on the on the plan. Here it is, which is seven point five. I'm just gonna take every detail. I'm not gonna make shortcuts. I want everyone to understand this. If you are 
we have been striking with it. So here's the width, which is 7,500 7, millimeters, converted to meters is 7.5 meters. So let's go with this side and say 7.5. Zero. We add foundation spread again in the width. Add FDM spread. It's the same one we just calculated above. Zero point four six. We say zero point four six. It's gonna be seven. Seven point nine six. Our width just seven point nine six. I have to decrease my handwriting because I'm gonna run out of paper, which would means it be very untidy. So after we calculated the length and the width, we're gonna try to calculate the mean girth, which is very, which is why we are here. We are want to, the mean girth, which is very important here. Our aim is the mean girth. Then we take the length, 10.46, we add width, add width, which is 7.96, as we add this it's gonna be 18.42. When we add this, we times them by 2. You no know, quantities are there. When we multiply, we do it like this. This times 2 equals to 36.84. What we have here is an, our external gift. Our external gift. So, what we're going to want is an internal gate we will continue calculating for us to get the internal gate we want to deduct corners the corners are the foundation spread so our corners are four in this building so we're gonna say deduct corners let me see yes deduct corners Bottom zero point six nine. Bottom zero point six nine, which gives us two point seven six. Yes, that's two point seven six. Then we deduct them. Our answer will be thirty four point zero eight. Yes, that's our main guess. We have calculated our internal mean gas. So because this is a foundation trend foundation trenches cal at the calculation, we have already seen the mean gas. So we have the width here, which is 0 0.69, 690 millimeters, 0 0.69 meters. What we don't have is the depth of the foundation. So we wanna calculate it. Here we say this DP, which means depth, which means depth. So as we can see here, this seven hundred and fifty is from the ground ground level to the to the highest point of the foundation trench at the foundation concrete of the foot. Let me say of the footing. So we're gonna say that we're gonna be 0 0.75 and then we add footing thickness add footing thickness which is 225 here 225 and we be like 0 0.75 at 0 0.225 which gives us 0 0.975 yes which means this is our depth of our foundation 
So we already have the mean gap, the depth and the and the width. So as you know, area is length times width times height. So we just gonna start here with the mean gap, which is thirty-four point zero eight, which is length times width. 0 0.69 our height is 0 0.975 we, we are gonna round it and we say 0 0.98 so we have to explain what this means you see excavate Excavate in MS to form FDNTR. And in two meter deep. Which commences commencing one hundred and fifty millimeters below ground level. Yeah, so yeah, it is. Calculation for trench excavation. You have to be careful with this one, man. I mean, it's easy, but you have to practice. And make sure you don't take shortcuts and avoid unnecessary mistakes. So I will wish you all the best if you've seen this video. And if you found it thankful, don't thank me. I see. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.